everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Kay and I am your new style bestie if you are new here if you're not new here welcome back girl how you been I am your girl Kay your new style bestie and I'm here helping you master your confidence through fashion style and beauty so if that's something that you love then you're gonna love it here you're gonna love it here. So today's video is a haul video slash like let's catch up slash how is my style changing and what am I seeing for myself in the future? So I've added some things to my wardrobe. I mean quite a few things actually since the last time we we did a haul together. So I want to show you some of the things that I have added to my wardrobe most recently and I kind of want to catch up with you. It's been a while. So I'm going to be showing you pictures and videos of all of the things that I'm mentioning here. I just got a new external monitor for my camera. So if I'm looking up, it's because I see a really big screen of myself. <laughs> but I hope that you all are loving my new setup. As I mentioned in one of my most previous videos, we got our kitchen redone. So we finna use it up. Mm -hmm. Before we jump in, I did want to share my lip combo. So this is my lip combo. And I pretty much wear the same thing all the time, but I'm gonna show you what I have on. So I used a Charlotte Tilbury liner. I don't know the shade, but I do know. <laughs> I just know it's a brown. I'm so sorry, I'm not of much help, but I brought all the other stuff here with me. Um, so I've used the Charlotte Tilbury liner, which I do like, it's very long lasting, but I also like the, the NYX lipstick lip liner. I'm gonna drop it in details, okay? Um, but if you look up NYX after hours, it'll come up. That's typically what I use. Very much the same as cork. Um, I don't really use chestnut. I think what I have on today is more similar to chestnut, but I like cork by MAC better. So anything in that family is gonna be good. So this is what I'm wearing. So I wore the Charlotte Tilbury liner and then I went in with my NYX lipstick, which I actually don't have with me. Okay, I'm not as prepared as I thought I was, okay? All right. My NYX lipstick is the Suede Lipstick and it is in the shade Dainty Rose. Dainty Days. I'ma pop it down in the, in, the de <laughs> in the details, but I do have the glosses, okay? I do have the glosses, they're right here. Okay, so right after I put on my liner and my lipstick, I then went in with, I am obsessed with these new Lawless lip glosses. They are so good. So it says forget the filler. It says it's like a plumper, but it just feels pretty minty. And this is in the shade Daisy Pink. I have several shades of this. This is actually really good. It gives just enough color, but it gives a lot of shine and it really lasts a long time. Then after that, I put on this MAC lip glass in the color Melt My Heart. This MAC lip glass in the shade Melt My Heart. This one is discontinued, but I'm pretty sure they have one very similar to this in stock. And then I used a lip topper, which is like this glittery shade. I think this still is in stock, but this is called Gleam On. If you know, like I know MAC lip glasses can be pretty thick and sticky. So it was great to, I've learned to use them on top of like one of my other favorite glosses and they're not as sticky. Let's go ahead and get into the catch up, the haul, the things. Okay, so I wanna start with this top that I'm wearing. Um, this top I'm wearing is from Zara. I most recently got this when I went to New York um, recently, I saw this in the Soho store and I'm gonna pop some video up here, but it was too small. The one I tried on was like too small. I couldn't get it zipped up. But while I was in store, I, sh I checked the stock online and it was in stock, so I ordered it. Or maybe, no, I'm lying. I actually bought it in store. They had my size in store. What I did was the one I, I tried on was too small and they did have one left in an extra large and it's a pretty structured bodysuit. And I'm gonna go a little closer, but here, it has this buckle detail, which to me is very like reminiscent of like Celine. So I really like this. This is really right up my alley. I like white shirts 
any kind of white shirts is like my jam. I'm just wearing it with some baggy jeans, so that doesn't matter. I did want to show you my earrings. These are not new. I've actually had these for some time, but don't sleep on Zara's jewelry and accessories. They have some really cool, bold accessories out these days, and yeah, you don't wanna sleep. You don't wanna sleep on them at all. But let's get into the haul. Um, speaking of New York, let's catch up a bit. I have been dipping off to New York a couple times um, simply because being in the DC area, unfortunately, it is not a large market for creators, creatives, or influencers. Um, so on a desperate need to get a mom break, a break from work, and a break from responsibilities, I went to um, New York just to kind of get a break. And the energy there was just the reset that I needed. Also, I got to like be unnoticeable and pretty much navigate areas I'm not familiar with. Um, it felt like being a fish out of water there and I actually liked that. Um, so I've been dipping off to New York and I have plans to dip off to New York any chance I get because it's just a two hour train ride. So um, while I was there, I got to have a couple business meetings and lunches and meet with brands and it's just been great. Um, but let's get back into the haul. So if you know me, you know I love sunglasses. Like I love sunglasses and I actually like do not second guess dropping the bag on some sunglasses. Will I go back and forth and debate myself about buying a handbag? Yes. Spending money on designer shoes? Yes. Designer clothes? Yes. Designer shades? No. But I don't love paying full price. So that brings me to my first pair of sunglasses um, that I most recently bought. And they are by Miu Miu. If you follow me on Instagram, you have seen these before. So I'm gonna show them to you with them on. Oh, baby. I really wanted a blacked out, flat top, sleek um, sunglasses, sleek pair of frames, and these were perfect. And I love the gaudy detail on the side. Oh, I love these so much. If you follow me on Instagram, you have seen these. I've worn them a few times. They are perfect. I love them. I did not pay full price. I got them off of Baltini to Shira. Why would you put me onto Baltini? I, I don't even understand why you would do that. Um, my next pair of sunglasses that I got also from Baltini are Fendi. Here's a interesting story. Um, I went into the Fendi store in New York and did not have the most pleasant experience. I was there really trying to try on the Fendi baguette because I am gonna invest in a bag and that is one of my dream bags. And I was there um, trying the bag on and I just felt like the service was like less than subpar. Almost like they did not take me seriously. They didn't think I was there to spend money. I wasn't there to buy that bag. But would I have bought something else? Yeah. And I just felt like they weren't giving me any attention. They weren't really taking me seriously. So I tried these sunglasses on while I was in there because I had already had my eye on them. Oh, honey. They just give rich, right? Rich auntie? I love these. The gradient is perfect. It gives me like Jackie O, um, presidential country club. But while I was there, um, I tried those sunglasses on and because the sales associates were not the most attentive, I decided to leave there and purchase them from Baltini immediately. I would have purchased them from there, but I was like, you're not getting my money. You're not getting my commission because you're rude. So yeah, next, <laughs> the next pair of shades I bought are by MCM and the case is just so cute. I really love the little case. Um, my girl Cache put me onto these. My daughters 
um, were trying on my sunglasses one time and I have a pair of Zimmerman sunglasses and they like went to put them on and because they're toddlers, they like pulled them and then put them on. So ever since then, they've been like real wobbly and weird. So I have been wanting a pair of metal gold frame with a nice brown transparent lens. My girl Cache had these on and I was like, ooh, honey, I need them. I need them. And she was like, oh, they're MCM. You might can find them on resale. Girl, when I saw you, I checked out five minutes after that conversation. Are these not perfect? Are these not perfect? I love an indoor frame. I love an indoor frame, like a transparent lens. I can wear them at night because I'm going to wear the sunglasses. I, I will wear sunglasses at midnight. I will wear sunglasses in the club. I don't go to the club often, but I would. I don't care. I love sunglasses. We're going to wear them anywhere. It doesn't matter. So I bought another pair of sunglasses that are like super popular. My girl Danielle over at the Vault Label. She posted these and I have never had a pair of Lorve shades. And then I saw these and I was like, oh, she posted that they were restocked. Again, checked out in five minutes. And my court paid. Thank you for your purchase. Order confirmation. Are these not so fly? So fly. Like I love the perfect gradient and these have the perfect gradient. I love them. Love, love, love. So beautiful. These are perfect. Oh, ooh, I just don't want to take them off. Mm. And look at the detail there. These are just so beautiful. Lorve, you did, you did that girl. You did that girl. These are everything. So those are the most recent sunglasses, accessories, pickup that I did. Um, and then one other thing that is new is I got a new Yearman ring. This one was gifted by my husband. I think it was Valentine's Day. Yeah, I think so. Speaking of giftings <laughs> by my husband, whoops. He also got me this bag from the Tory Burch sale that I wanted so bad. She's a beauty. I think the name of it is the like Radswell bag, but I was a fan of this um, style bag already. And then it went on sale and it was in metallic. Like I didn't even think to buy it in metallic. The other thing is the inside is leather, but then also it has this like inside flap here that is suede. It's like a Tiffany blue suede. It's on the, it's on the front and the back and it's functional. So like that's another compartment to the bag. And then here too, if I undo the front here, then this is also a functional flap in the front as well. And you can wear the bag open this way. But to me, metallic is a pop of color. Look what's in my purse. Tell me your mom without telling me your mom. Target stickers. <laughs> but so those are the accessories that I most recently added to my wardrobe. Um, okay, now let's get to it. So let's catch up some more. What have I been up to? What what have I been up to? <laughs> Other than working hard. <laughs> Living large and taking charge, big boy. Um, can you guess what movie that's from? Living large and take a charge, big boy! You doing that country stuff. Babs, child. Anyway, I've been working out, y'all. Like, my trainer is back at my gym, and I've been working out. 5 a.m. workouts. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm up at 4 a.m. twice a week for 5 a.m. workouts with my trainer. And it has been brutal. But we have now been going at it for about 12 weeks, maybe more, actually. Yeah, maybe more. And I am so proud of myself with the consistency and the discipline. And people are always like, girl, how do you do it? How do you do it? Um, right now, everybody sleep. 
and I'm recording. When everybody's sweet in the morning, I get up and go to the gym. Basically, work while everybody's sweet. You sleep less. <laughs> um, okay, so let's get into some more items that I have added to my wardrobe. So the first thing are these Steve Madden cargos. I have my eye on them for a while because the placement of the pockets are perfect. They are baggy, they're saggy. I sized up, I got a size extra large. I really feel like I could have gotten a large, but I got an extra large and they are pretty oversized, but I got plans for them. I got plans for them. So I'm gonna pop some photos and videos here of how I've styled them. They were 120, so I think that's kind of a splurge for some people for a pair of cargo pants, but where I am when it comes to my wardrobe now is I have literally been purging for the last two months anything in my wardrobe that one, I don't really wear like that, or I bought it and wore it one time for like one outfit. Anything that's kind of like trendy, super colorful, it's like just not my style anymore, it's been purging. I've been purging it. Like I'm not holding on to old stuff that I barely wear. Oh, I might wear it again. I, it's gotta go. It's gotta go because I realized that I was purchasing at a rapid rate because I couldn't even see the clothes that I had. Thank you to Shira for reading me in that video where you said that. So I have now bought into the capsule wardrobe. I'm a capsule wardrobe girly. I always felt like I had a good foundation for my wardrobe. Like I have a foundation of things that I style around. I wear them all the time. But I also was like buying a lot of the like cutesy stuff. I've get, I'm getting rid of all of that. No, I'm not doing a closet sale. No, I can't ship it to you because I want it out my house yesterday. So it's getting donated. <laughs> so I got those cargo pants because I feel like I can style them many ways. I also recently bought a corset from Shopbop that Janae posted. I think it's by The Lioness. I'm gonna pop a photo of that up. And um, I plan to style those cargos up and style them down. I've worn them with heels and a blazer. Um, I think they'll look great with the corset. I've worn them with sneakers, leather jackets. I love them because they're very versatile. So rather than buying a bunch of cheap pair of cargos, having one or two pair that are good investments or that are high quality, perfect. The second thing that I added to my wardrobe is a white blazer. Um, I have always been of the mindset that you need a white blazer in your wardrobe, especially for the spring um, and early summer. Because even in early summer, you can just drape it over your shoulders. It's great if you're wearing a nice dress, you can drape the, sh the um, white blazer over your shoulders. But I love, first of all, I'm a blazer girl. I am a blazer girl, without a doubt. I highly believe in investing in like your outerwear, your jackets, because they can be the outfit, especially in the springtime. So I got this um, white blazer from Zara. I am debating if I wanna switch out the black buttons for gold buttons, cause that's just the type of girl I am. Um, I don't know yet. Or even like tortoise shell buttons, cause I'm not a fan of the black buttons. But I got it for the structure and the shoulder pads. I love anything with shoulder pads. I love anything with a cinch waist. I love anything with an hourglass shape. Anything with those silhouettes tend to be good quality and tend to last long in my wardrobe. So they're high impact um, and they're, it's a timeless silhouette. I also bought a trench coat. A trench coat is a must. I don't think I've had a trench coat in my wardrobe since I was in like middle school when my mom like bought me one from Talbots. <laughs> so I know that a trench coat is a staple in your wardrobe also because I am a white button down shirt girl. I am a poplin shirt type of girl. Like I like a white shirt and jeans of all variations. And as we move into spring and warmer months, um, I think a trench coat is very necessary. Also, sometimes when you dress up a bit, you're like, well, what coat am I gonna put on? I don't have a coat that's as casual, so. I got this trench coat from h and i I'm gonna show you how I styled that trench coat. I mean, it can be styled so many ways. So many ways. I honestly feel like you can wear your favorite pair of jeans or trousers in a simple, ooh, Ciao. And a um, simple white tee. Throw that trench coat on a nice bag and a nice pair of sunglasses. 
Can't nobody tell you nothing, child. You look rich. No, but you look, I think it's just high quality. It gives like, well put together to me. My budget for the trench coat was, I was not spending over $100, preferably 80 or less. So I got one from H&M that was like $89. I'll also link some similar ones because I wanted one that was more of a sateen type feel. Um, and I love the one that I got. So I'm gonna um, go ahead and link that below. The other thing that I got, because I'm a fan of dad sneakers, but also everybody needs a casual sneaker in their wardrobe because that's how you get away with, oh, I'm wearing trousers and a trench coat, but I don't wanna wear heels and I don't wanna wear, you know, a dressy flat, a casual sneaker. I talked about this last spring, or no, last fall? whatever i talked about it in one of my previous videos that a casual sneaker is a must it will always be a must and i picked up a new one and i picked up the pharrell and adidas um human race sambas i love them julia um is a fan of sambas and she first posted these specific ones i feel like i will be buying sambas in other colors i have gazelles the indoor gazelles um, and I love the indoor gazelles. So I like the casual sneakers by Adidas. I will wear them again and again and again and again and again. Also, my girl, Jerenica Masia, if you follow her, you probably do. Um, she always talks about these Sam Edelman sneakers that she has. I love them. I love them. I love them. I would add those to my wardrobe if you're not going to get a Samba or an athletic looking casual shoe. You might wanna don't, like don't sleep on Tory Burch, Sam Edelman, Dolce Vita. They have really great casual sneakers. Go with your trousers, you can wear them to work, what have you. You can wear them with a slip dress, slip skirt. Then I, I got a gym that I didn't think was gonna be a gym. I keep calling it the, the TikTok dress because I keep telling everybody I got this dress from the TikTok shop. I indeed did not get this dress from the TikTok shop. I don't know where I got this dress from. I just know that I was on the train, headed to New York in February, an ad popped up on my phone, and again, I blacked out, I woke up, and it said, thank you for your order. It happened in a split second. I can't source where I got this thing from because it took 80 days to come. I ordered it in February, and it came literally a month later. I had very low. I mean, low expectations for this dress, but it ended up being a stunner, okay? I do wish the dress had underwire for my boobs. I think it would just make it look a little more high quality. I also wish it had um, pockets as well. The dress is not high quality at all, but you know, it's something about when I put things on, <laughs> it's giving designer. <laughs> This is also something that, again, is, is moving towards that capsule wardrobe, is moving towards that girl, you're gonna be able to wear this next summer, this summer, next spring. And it, I, got a, I stumbled upon this white dress in Target. I love things that are like a mix between structure and flowy. So this dress is structured at the top. It has um, a belt that I'll probably swap out. And then the bottom is like an A-line, kind of flowy type skirt. Um, it's like a poplin material, and it's just really flattering on me. It's just really flattering on me. I plan to swap out the belt on this dress for a like camel colored leather belt, something similar to this. I'm gonna swap it out for a camel leather belt, and I'm gonna wear a pair of camel leather sandals, similar to like like think about like the Hermes Aran sandal. Something like that. But mine are probably gonna be from Steve Madden. Speaking of white dresses, you can never have too many. You really can never have too many, especially with summer coming. And my family and I, we like to go to our local winery on Sundays. So I just feel like it fits the bill. I can wear it to church. I can wear it out with my friends for brunch. And I got another white dress from H&M. It also has that hourglass uh, shape. I saw my girl D Lolo. Post it and again, blacked out, woke up. Thanks for your order, order confirmation in my email. <laughs> uh, it was a part of the Spring 24 collection at H&M, which by the way, is bomb. 
It's bomb. If you haven't checked it out, I'll go ahead and link it below. And you can peruse to see what else is still in stock. But, babes, that spring collection was mwah, chef's kiss. I actually got a few things off of it. And what I love about this is not only does it have the hourglass, it has my other favorite thing, shoulder pads. Shoulder pads. This dress would look even better to me on someone who has a fuller bust. I am not well in it out there. So it still looks good on me, but yeah, I think it looks even better on a woman with a fuller bust. So if that is you babes, this is for you. It comes in black as well. I also got the shirt version of that dress. <laughs> so it's almost like peplum style. It has the same A-line um, skirt or hem, and then it has a cinched waist and it has the shoulder pads. Not quite sure how I'm gonna style the shirt yet, but I feel like I can wear it with linen pants. I feel like I can wear it with some shorts, linen shorts, um, maybe even a pair. I'm thinking of a pair of like khaki colored shorts. Yeah, or even denim shorts, honestly. But yes, that's, that's just what I have in my head. Or even a denim skirt, maybe. I don't know. But it's one of those things that I know is gonna last in my wardrobe because I love a white shirt especially in the summer and spring, I'm still gonna wear my white shirts. I also bought this Zara knit sweater that if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen it already, but it is a new addition to my wardrobe. It has the scent, the perfect cinch waist silhouette. Now when I first got it in the mail, immediately I was gonna return it because the material of it is similar to felt. Like I'm not jazzed about the material. Um, and it's like it's warm, but again, I'm in Maryland where we have swinters. Okay, we have these fake springs, um, spring winter. It's cold as hell, and it's supposed to be warm, but it's cold and it's kind of chilly. So something told me to try it on one more time before I decided to return it. I tried it on, and I was like, try it on as a shirt. Loved it, and apparently so did the internet because that reel is blowing up. Um, and I'm, I don't quite know exactly how I'm gonna style it, but more than likely it's gonna be with like saggy baggy jeans and that's it, <laughs> that's it. I, the, the sweater is the moment. I also bought a red cropped like mandarin collar blazer from Zara. I tried this, this blazer came out maybe almost a year ago in black. And I am so mad that I missed it. So then it was re-released recently in red. And lately I've been feeling red. Especially if it's the right garment, I'm cool with the color red. Cause typically I wear a red lip, I'll do a red shoe. I absolutely think a red bag is necessary, but I don't typically purchase red garments. I know, I'm a Delta girl. Like, what is that? Does that even make any sense? What do you mean? You're a Delta and you don't buy red garments. Yeah, I know, sounds wild. But I didn't think it was really my color before. Um, but then I got this blazer. I tried it on in the New York Soho store and it was like snug, like. And so I immediately checked the online stock and I was able to find it online. I think I got a size large, yes. But it it's pretty fitted and it's supposed to be and I love that and it's sort of cropped. So it's cool for the spring. Um, it's not really long and overwhelming and bulky, it's perfect. Don't quite know exactly how I'm gonna style it. But I'ma make it shake, I'ma make it shake. I also got a vest from Zara because vests are in. But this one, I bought it in an extra large because I wanted it to fit kind of baggy and oversized so that I don't have to wear anything under it. I tried it on in New York at the Zara in Hudson and I loved it. Like I had put a whole outfit together, I loved it. While I was there, I also picked up a pair of black mules, which I mean, come on. You always need a pair of black mules. And I also got a pair of jeans from Zara recently that are frayed on the side. They're very unique, but they're also very beautiful. I absolutely love them because they are a moment. They make a statement all by themselves. 
I'll pop a video of how I styled those jeans. Um, and I also got an off the shoulder bodysuit, which again, is the moment in its own way. Although it's just a white shirt, it's giving clavicle. Is that what you call it? Is that what you call this up here? I don't know, but it's giving neck, okay? It's giving shoulder, okay? And I really, really like it because then I don't have to overthink my bottoms. As my style is moving more towards the capsule wardrobe, I am really only shopping for things that are structured, shoulder pads, I like anything cinched waist. I do want to invest in a blazer um, that has more of a cinched waist, probably closer to fall, but places like Source Unknown, Frankie Shop, they're notorious for those things. Also, Mango, don't sleep on Mango. Please don't sleep on Mango. I recently visited the Mango Soho store and I was in love, in love. Um, I am also looking for quality trousers. Don't sleep on trousers. Trousers are just as comfortable as sweatpants, more comfortable than leggings. I recently wore a pair of trousers as a travel fit on a flight and so comfortable, so comfortable. So I will be adding more trousers to my wardrobe for the spring summer. It'll be more linen trousers, but I will definitely be adding more trousers to my wardrobe. So that concludes my most recent spring haul. And I hope you saw some things that you like that interest you or gave you inspo for your closet and your wardrobe. If you like what you saw here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and comment, like, and don't forget to share this with your friends because it is no fun if your friends can't have none. That's how this girl gang grew. Tell a friend to tell a friend, okay? I'll see you back here next week and I want you to bring a plus one. Deal? As always, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.